Well, local cherry farmers, they are also feeling the heat as West Michigan is really baking under this nationwide heat dome. And they tell us those high temps have actually brought on an early harvest for cherries. Yeah, that includes Robinettes. The gates are opening up today for you pig cherries. That's where our Andy Curtis is hanging out, picking cherries. And um, Andy, we heard that you can maybe do a trick with the cherry stem. Oh yeah, yeah, I can do that. Um, we'll see if I can do it at the end of this interview. Though I want people to stick around for the full thing. But uh, oh, it's going to be worth your time. Just like coming down here to pick your own cherries at Robinettes. That's where we find ourselves live this morning. People have already started showing up, and it's a little earlier than normal. Typically, this time of the year, you think about picking strawberries here in West Michigan. Well, we're a few weeks early because things have been warmer. That means the cherries are starting to uh, pop here and you really can't control mother nature. So they're just rolling with it. And I'm speaking with Ed, one of the owners of Robinettes. Ed, give us a rundown. What can people expect here today? We're open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Cherries are looking beautiful. Uh, picking is easy. We've got dwarf trees so you can reach them all. And it's a good fun day and you can be in the shade if you want to. Yeah, it feels pretty good. It feels pretty good out here right now. So I recommend getting out here earlier rather than uh, waiting until the heat of the day. But uh, for somebody who hasn't picked cherries here before, give us uh, give us a few of the pro tips. Well, I'm just grabbing with with both hands. I'm just putting them up under a clump of cherries and pulling them down with my thumbs. And then I can look at them. Some of them, you know, there's one that's damaged. Okay. It was split or something and then off into the pail. So you'd pay your price, come through, you fill up the bucket, and pick what you want. Pale. Yeah. What kind of cherry trees do you have here? Where are we uh, picking from right now? These are dark sweet cherries or black sweets, and we have tart cherries as well, the, the old the old fashioned pie cherry. We have some of those too. So sweet cherries are for eating if they make it all the way yeah, home. Yeah, if they make it home. Yeah. And then the tart cherries you can make They'd pies. They're great to bake with. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, what are the tips for when you get the, if they get home, if they make the ride home? Yeah. How do you keep them? Uh, put them in the fridge? Do you wash them? Do you remove the stems? What do you do there? If you want to keep them for a while, put them right in the refrigerator. I don't pick them with stems on. You can pick them with stems on if you want to keep them longer. Okay. That'll keep them better. But uh, I'm interested in eating them right now. So put them in the fridge. Wash them just before you use them. They'll keep longer in the fridge that way. Okay. Speaking of eating them right now, as promised, here's the little trick that I learned few years ago. Oh, we need the stem for this one. Like, so Candace was talking that I can tie a knot in the stem with one of these. Ah, huh? As promised. Look at that. Um, I don't know. Live here from Robinette's. Back to you guys. <laughs> Is this, eh? is this how you uh, <laughs> impress your, your current eh? wife? <laughs> is this what did it? That's how I, I met her, Elliot. Yeah, I figured. Yep, I, mean, I, met, her, I met her picking cherries, okay. and we've been uh, inseparable your ever since. Your mail might be just, I don't know. Between the dance moves and now wow. that. Amen. Hey, anything. <laughs> how do you get the Anything moves? for the viewers. Uh, all right. All right, well, um, Janice, any notes? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Silence. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Speechless. No, just uh, impressive. Enjoy your, Thanks, Andy. Enjoy the cherries, <laughs> Andy. Um.